It's a big day, everyone. Leshy has been turned into a pelt. Grimora has been buried in her own graveyard. PO3 has been scrapped for spare parts. And the last one that we have to deal with is Mr. Magical himself, Magnificus. Uh, but before we challenge him, there's a couple orders of business we need to do. First of all, uh, explore his domain up here and steal everything that's not nailed down. That's the way of things, isn't it? This note reads, Dearest Grimora, I believe PO3's plot may go far past the extent of a common power grab. Indeed, this great transcendence will have ca catastrophic and unpredictable results. The note is incomplete and ends abruptly. I urge you to consider... So it seems like there are a variety of plots that each of these four scribes have. Like, Leshy's plan is to turn everybody into a beast. PO3 wants to do some kind of, like, Skynet, you know, turn everybody into a computer type thing. I'm not sure what Grimora's would be, but that's kind of the vibe I'm getting, is each of them has a very different outlook on how consciousness um, should be handled in this world. Um, so I'm very interested to find out what these, uh, what Mag Magnificus's, I guess, aspirations are. Uh, oh, can we look at the painting? No, we can't. Okay, that's fine. Well, as we've learned from other areas, we want to explore the dark corners. And there are a couple things I would like to, if I get the opportunity, I would like to retrace my steps a little bit in some of the other areas, just to, uh, from, from little tips that I've gotten, you know? All right. Up in here. Oh, hello. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, this is nice. Uh, the Great Kraken. Great Kraken submerges itself during its opponent's turn. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I mean, I guess that's fine. It's only a one attack and one defense. Okay. Is that... I mean... I'm assuming that's a good card, but I guess we'll play it out in combat and see if it is, in fact, useful. Uh, there's a rusty pipe there, not doing much. Huh. And then uh, a mirror here. Okay. Well, good stuff. Let's go talk to the guy. Ah, you are here at last. How do my pupils fare? No matter, there are far more concerning issues at hand. Do you understand the canvas that you have been woven into? Nay, you are the brush, and the artist moves you with a terrifying mastery. My eye aches with premonition. The future is very, very grim. First, we must battle. Ooh, I love the music already. Behold, the brush of the scribe of magics. My pupils would die to be painted by it and live forever as a card. But that is not the full extent of its powers. This one needs some bleach. Now, for a bit of color. That's kind of mean. Uh, let's see, what does this do now? Now I don't know what my own cards do. <laughs> Mox cards on the owner's side of the board gain plus one power. Oh, so I guess this would be more helpful if I were running a mage deck. Hmm. Okay, so we... What that says to me is we may have to go back and, uh... Figure out if we want to start using more magic-y stuff, I guess. Alright, well, an easy decision would be to... Look at this guy here. He's having the time of his life. I love it. 
<laughs> um, put them down. Put them down. I guess if I wanted to do a, a mole, a mole man type thing, then I, I certainly could. So does that mean they're not gonna, they're not gonna die anymore? That's actually kind of nice. Just skeletons that will continue to live. Um, oh, Mole Man is not going to shift anymore because his sigil has been removed. Okay. We'll just do that for now. Okay, that is fine with me, I think. Um, maybe I should buy myself some time. Until I can uh, develop some more bones. Alright, that's gonna kill him. Hopefully. Oh no, actually do one one point of damage, rather. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, we'll have to take a little bit of damage while we... Get something useful. Let's go ahead and kill this guy off. Draugr pulls out a rabbit. Hey, that's not too bad. And uh, what we could do is, let's see. This guy's gonna do one damage to us for sure. Let's just save it. Oh, that sucks. Uh, Mantis Goddess plays, you draw cards equal to the amount of Mox cards on your side of the board, which would be like, Zero. Probably. Uh, the striker is dealt a single point of damage. Hmm. We're kind of in a tough spot right now. But we'll do that to kill this guy off. Um. Would it be worth to start chipping away at this Magnus? Because otherwise, they're just going to be creating problems for us, I feel. I think so. We can afford to take another bit of damage. It's okay. Sure. Alright, still not getting the benefit from any of that, but that's okay. We just need to survive long enough to build up bones to do some damage. I guess we'll throw him here, and nothing else I can really do at the moment. Hmm. That sucks. Fail. Yeah. Spare me. Spare me the lecture. All right, let's try one more time with our current deck, and then we can always switch it up if necessary. All right, giving my squirrel something to do is actually okay with me. All right, getting a rabbit card. Man, the utility of the mantis really goes down in a major way. All right. Start working on this guy. Pull out a rabbit. Maybe I want to save this for next round, perhaps? Or no, here's what we'll do. We'll throw him there. When he comes down, we should be able to get a hit on that guy. When a rabbit is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. Oh, that's actually, that's super nice. We're very fortunate to uh, have gotten that. So we can really start racking up some bones this way. Uh, yeah. Oh, but it's not going to necessarily have the same rabbit sigil every time. Well, that's fine. Whatever. That is okay with me. Let's uh, keep working on this guy. 
just throw that there. Good stuff. Alright, we're going to sacrifice him to throw him there. We'll get another rabbit. And, um... I guess we may as well just go there. And... Um... Yeah, this guy's going to try to attack us, so we'll, we'll throw him there. Okay. Great. I love ruby moxes. That's all I've wanted in my life. Put that there. Alright, these rabbits are actually uh, really helping us out. Not gonna lie. Overkill damage. Great. Good. Uh, no, we'll do one, two, three, four, five. Oh, so I think we're going to win. Man, the fact that the Revenant got uh, his ability removed really helped us out, because ordinarily the Revenant would just die after he attacks, but having a, a guy for very cheap for only three bones to do three damage every time is super powerful. So there we go. All right, so that's round round one. I guess we'll find out what what this the other mechanic is going to be. Hmm. I must be slowing down with age. I may need to set my brush upon my own cards once again. Alright, what kind of BS mechanic is he giving me? Oh, okay. Oh, that's fine. I mean, is it my turn again? I mean, I'm just gonna straight up win if that's the case, right? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, good. Very well. Nice, that wasn't too painful. I was a little worried at first, but uh turns out a lucky a lucky draw of cards uh can overcome a lot of deficits. Anyway. Very well. We have battled, and now I may speak. You see, my eye it aches because it remembers it was excised by none other than Leshy, the scribe of beasts. And a beast he is, arrogant, single-minded, obsessed with gaining power. But he is far from the worst scribe to become hegemon. Hegemon? Uh, that's... that's I, I'm familiar with the word outside of the context of this game, but I wonder if that's like a title in here? You see, the objection of my eyeball is far from the worst thing that can happen around here. Yeah, like being trapped in a card and forced to relive your same day in a cab cabin over and over. I know a thing or two about that. You must be especially aware of... Uh-oh. Glitch. Okay, I'll take we'll take our two card packs. Another blue mage. Okay. So clearly something or somebody is trying to keep him from spilling the beans. Now didn't he ask this guy ask us to free him on the way out? I don't know if there's a way to. <laughs> Unfortunately, he may just be stuck in there in perpetuity. But, you know, we thought of him. I guess I could have just fast-traveled there, but that's fine. Uh, let's go check in with the trader, because we are loaded with cash right now, and I just want to see if anything catches our attention. Green Mage, Ruby Mox, blah, blah, blah. No. I mean, I don't know enough about the magic stuff to... to know what, what, what would be worth it. Okay. So, obviously, if we wanted to, we could definitely, um... go here to the, to the middle area, now that we've unlocked all four. I did want to stop by my college just again, because I think 
we've gotten so many cards. Um, it would be nice to see the diagram too of that. What is the diagram? Oh, he's requesting a specific card. I was I was just gonna let him combine more of my cards because I would like to just create stronger versions. What is that a What is that a picture of? Can I look at my own deck to see what that is? It's got a little like camera thing on top of his head. Um. Also, I was rewatching uh, one of my videos from earlier on. Uh, and I did recall that I think we could purchase the Ouroboros from uh, the trader in Leshy's cabin, uh, which makes me really want to go back there and pick that up because that is uh, pretty strong. Um, whom, to whom are you referring, oh mycologist? Am I just totally missing... It's got like a... Hang on, let's look at it again. It's got like a... Like a camera on top of his head. And like... A circle there with... A dot. Two dots. On the top left. I wish he would just straight up tell me what the card is. So I could... Like at least know what deck it was from. These are all just... Beasts. None of these guys has a camera on top of their head that I can see. Maybe it's one that we haven't unlocked yet. Is that possible? So I wonder, do we maybe need to... Uh, let me just double check. If there was a camera on the top of the head, it would probably be in the... the robot deck, you would think. Not seeing it anywhere. Hang on. No, not there. Maybe we should go back to the trader uh, in each of those different locations and see... Because I'm sure we get some kind of neat incentive for getting him the stuff that he wants. Let's see if he'll say it explicitly for us. Two of the same... Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Why don't we just go ahead and um, make a quick run to each of the traders. Um, just to see if anything jumps out at us. Oops. So, over here. Um, it's not the leap bot, is it? I don't think so. I don't think it looks quite the same. Okay, we'll go stop by Grimora now and just double check uh, her inventory. Okay. And then I definitely, at the very least, just want to buy the, the Ouroboros from uh, Leshy's area. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I wish it kind of told me how many of these cards... Oh, it does. I was going to say how many cards I already have. Or oh, wait. Is that saying that... No, no, that's the cost. What am I saying? Dumb. Uh, yeah, I wish it said how many of these I already have. I know I've got all of these. I have a bone heap. Could get another one. Let's just save our money for the moment. And, uh, go up to here. Huh. Oh, and somebody was also saying that there's another secret uh, portrait hidden back here somewhere. Back. Uh, maybe not there. Is it, like, in here? Oh, maybe not. I thought... I thought that there was a comment somewhere saying in this, like, this corner shadow area of the cabin, there was another, uh, another portrait to be found. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm misremembering. Or it's, like, in here somewhere? Yeah, I'm not seeing it anywhere if it is here. Okay, uh, Ouroboros I definitely would like to purchase. 
Okay. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing the duplicate of the card that he wants. So let's. I've got one more idea of what to do, and then we'll just we'll just keep uh, moving it along. Uh, in the wizard area, there is that little book in the trader area that you can you can look at, which records all of your current inventory. Just want to see if anything jumps out at me in a, in a different context. Yeah, it might be something here that we just haven't unlocked yet. Or I'm just totally, uh, totally missing something, which is always possible. Okay, no, I'm not seeing anything. Um, yeah, and there's quite a few cards that are um, still unopened yet. So I'm going to guess that's the case, is that it's just something that we haven't uh, gotten access to yet, which is fine. But uh, I think that's just about everything I wanted to do. Uh, I wanted to stop by the mycologist, if possible. That didn't, didn't quite play out like I was hoping. Um, but I do want to keep the story moving along, if I can. And I'm just double-checking for any other secret areas or whatever. Let's stop by the little boat area again and just see if... They have anything new to say to us? I, I kind of doubt it. Nope. Alright, so without further ado, why don't we go up to the, uh, this area of ascension for us. It is time, challenger. Choose the scribe that you will replace. Well, we did say that we were going to replace Leshy because he was not very nice to us. So why don't we do that? Let's become the Scribe of Beasts, y'all. You ready? <laughs> Fool. You have no idea what could have been. A carefully curated cycle of life and death, excitement, terror, mystery. That gormless angler has once again failed me. I suspect that I know which scribe bested me. Of course, PO3. This synthetic freak knows nothing of artistry, of, of aesthetics. Monster, I liked you better as a stoat. Filthy old beast, I'll never be your stoat again. Now, let's play. Why are, why are we playing? You're supposed to battle the scribe that you picked, but like a powered up version for the finale. Okay. This is going to be different. Yeah, I guess I should have expected that. Uh, is there anything special about these places? I mean, it's got the moon on it, just kind of like the, uh, the final round of most battles that we go uh, encounter. All right, let's just do a little bit of defense to start off. That's fine. Um, yeah, that's that's all we can do. Okay, we'll block an opposing creature. I guess we're just gonna keep delaying until we get enough stuff on the board to actually be helpful. Oh, great. Okay, fine. I'll just leave this here. I've got to give it to that dredger. Not as useless as I thought. Uh-oh. Okay. Alright, here's what we'll do. We'll throw the mantis here to clear up some of that area. I'm not sure what that is going to be doing. So, just to, just in case, let's throw that there as a little bit of preventative uh, defense. 98. Oh my gosh, that's the ticket. Corrupted, oh gosh. <laughs> oh no, what's happening? We're going into the matrix. This is bananas. Heal three, what have we done? Oh 
know. Guys, did we make a mistake replacing Leshy? Like I... Oh, hello. We're back to a... Uh, older style of animation. Or our, our previous style of animation, I should say. Okay. He looks somewhat sinister. You done gawking? We can start. Good. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is bananas. Uh, this is Botopia, a once great technological paradise. It's ruled over by four, uh, Uber bots. That's right. And you've got to get out there and beat them. Why? To perform the great transcendence, of course. Doesn't matter what that means. You want it, okay? Huh. All right. Uh, oh, I, I, it's a point-and-click type of adventure. So are we going to... Was the last area kind of Leshy's idea of a utopia? The, the like, 8-bit style, and this is PO3's version of it? And I don't know. Interesting. Botopia used to be safe for travelers. Now rogue bots block all the major roads. All right, can't explore, can I? Nope. That's fine. Nice, okay. Oh, cool. You're not used to seeing five lanes, are you? Leshy could never pull that off. All right, guys, we're going to have to get comfortable with uh, a new style of uh, play real quick. All right, empty vessel. Just so I guess this is what this is our cost, right, to play stuff. Energy bot, battery bearer. When a card bearing this sigil is played, it provides an energy cell to its owner. Well, I don't have enough to play it, right? No, I don't. So what what is the equivalent to um, squirrels in this area? Is I wonder. You may choose which opposing card a space bearing the sigil strikes. Oh, that's really cool. I like that a lot. Okay, well, uh... 49er. Guess I'll put it here to... Provide some defense. Um... There's nothing else I can do, is there? Cool, I, I do love this sci-fi animation type. Now, what is this guy? Like, what are the difference between these two? Ooh, that is way too expensive for me. Um, I regret everything. Yeah, I know. Only draw at the beginning of the turn. Energy bot, can I, I can't sacrifice. Oh, I can. Oh, I got two energy at the beginning. I didn't even see that. That might have been a mistake. Uh, so I can't put any of these guys on, right? No. All right, well, it's okay. We're learning. All right, well, we could, there's only one thing we can draw from. All right, explode bot. Uh, yeah, that, that we are familiar with, and it's only got one health. So do we have something super cheap that we can put on here? We could do that. We could throw him here. He'll take out automation dude for us. And then um, we'll we'll buy ourselves some time with the 49er. Okay. All right. That's it for us. He's going to hit us and then move. Okay. Another empty vessel. Double gunner. Bifurcated strike. Yep. We're familiar with that with uh, the mantis type thing. Putting it, uh, putting him here might be an okay idea. And he, he'll hit for four damage, so that's going to dig us out of quite a big hole. That costs six energy. Oh, you're right. Okay, I didn't, I did not know this. Uh, well, we could still do the sniper bot. That would be pretty okay. And we're going first, right? So I'll just 
pop him. He'll get a hit off. Um, and uh, maybe we can save up for the double gunner. Okay. Yeah, this guy, please. Cool. Oh, I love this. This is actually super fun uh, animation style. That's awesome. All right, double gunner. Perfect. That's w just what I need. And uh, that's it. Boom, boom. Uh, back row. Good stuff. All right, I think we got this. So empty vessels are telling us how much energy we get each turn, or... I'm trying to figure out how much energy we get from turn to turn. I'll try to pay a little bit more attention to that uh, going forward. Good stuff. We got a dollar. Cool. The best defense, other bots. You carry a spark that can uh, reactivate old bots. Add them to your deck, you know. Then they fight for you. I will take that. All right, we got energy bot, swap bot, leap bot. Swap bot, I assume, just swaps. After a card bearing the sigil is dealt damage, swap its power and... Oh, its power and health. Well, that's intriguing. Um, I wonder what the utility of this is, because it costs two energy to even play. When a card bearing this sigil is played, it provides an energy cell to its owner. So, like, you're spending two energy to get one energy back? Um, I'm sure there, it's, there, it's, there's something else with that that I'm just not getting, but it's fine. Uh, I'm, I'm tempted by swap bot. It's pricey, but I think we could put it to good use. All right. Anything else that we can click on? No. It's interesting that the way that PO3 is talking, he's, it sounds like he's just making it up as he goes along, which is kind of um, interesting. You'll need more than a few reactivated bots. That is, if you truly wish to enact the Great Transcendence. Botopia has some of the most OP items just lying around. <laughs> I will happily take uh, an OP item. I don't mind. That will recharge your energy one turn. Pretty good. Like, if you're smart, you'll use your items liberally. You'll replenish them at a waypoint, obviously. Okay. That's cool with me. Um... And that's, that is something that we learned in Lushy's area, is that we don't need to be too stingy with um, this, this energy. Alright, Broken Bot. When it dies... So what is, the, what is the little, like... What does this thingy on top mean? Just that it's broken. So is there a way to repair it? Shield Bot is there. All right, well, we'll start off going here. Uh, can I just sacrifice the broken bot to... I don't know. I don't completely understand. Is it just going to explode on its next turn, or what? Hmm, I guess we'll take one of these. Oh, I see. These are the, this is the squirrel deck. It just it's just going to give me empty vessels, and then this is the deck of stuff that is like uh, more functional, I guess, if that makes sense. Okay, I need something with a little bit of offense. Guess we'll put him there, and that's all we can afford. Oh, that's not as good. We'll take one of these. Sniper bot. So if we put sniper bot here, we can take him out. He's going to take out shield bot for us, which is good. I think that's probably 
the best use of our energy at the moment. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Probably this explode bot, because that's two, two damage being dealt. Take him. Yep, there we are. Alright, that sucks. Let's just take another empty vessel. And... Put the shield bot... What is this again? The first time... Oh, I didn't even notice that. Prevent that damage. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're gonna go and use a sacrificial shield bot, I think. There you go. And, uh... I don't know, throw an empty vessel down here. Okay. Ooh, we're in a tough spot. Let's just draw our last one. Swap bot, yeah. Uh, after this is dealt damage, swap its power and health. Yeah, 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 okay. So there's only one thing I can do anyway, so we'll just throw him there. Oh, okay, so every time I play... No, this is giving me plus one. Okay, well, we're still, we're still figuring it out. All right, we're maxed out. To the left and the right, the space across from it. Why don't we do that here? We'll take that guy out. And that'll buy us a little bit of breathing room. That's fine. Thank you. I concede. Let's move on. What if I don't accept the surrender? What if I? What if we just play this out? I, th I think that's something that we found out was more advantageous last time, right? Is just to keep keep it playing, to uh, get our extra money. All right, that is good. Empty vessels doesn't matter. Because that's going to get us a few extra coins that we would otherwise not have uh, gotten. So that is worth it for us. Energy bot. Uh, a me bot. Very good pun. Uh, this will... Yeah, I feel like that could be helpful. Let's take that, just to switch up the variety in our deck a little bit. A very uh, different way of moving around the map than um, uh, than in Leshy's area. The real best way to fight back those rogue bots, modify yours. Give them OP abilities. Alright, I'm listening. Choose a card from your deck. Alright, let's... Um, maybe we'll, we'll... We'll use a me bot as our guinea pig. Let's see. Is that is that what you're telling me I could do, or I could switch it up? Oh, okay. So I can have it be aerial defense, uh, do one one thing of uh, revenge damage, or move. I'm gonna say yeah. I'm gonna say that. There we go. All right, good stuff. I am satisfied actually. All right, I still want to keep like clicking around in case there's something. You're almost at the waypoint. Don't choke now. Great. All right, at the waypoint, I think we get our items replenished, so we can use those if we need to. Huh. Bridge rails. This is this is new. Alarm bot. Annoying. The creature opposing a card. Bearing this sigil gains one power. Why is that? A, why is that something that you would want to have? <laughs> the creature opposing a card gains one power. Yeah. So you're gonna give me a free power? Why? I don't understand how that's helpful for for you. Well, anyway. 
We'll start out with just uh, blocking. And maybe we'll use this energy canister next time. All right. Um, let's just keep delaying, I guess. Well, let's see. Do we have anything? Yeah. So here's what we'll do. We'll put him there. We'll snag that. We'll put the energy bot here. And that should give us a decent, uh, some decent options for next round in terms of what we'll place. All right. Love it. Um... Oh, that's actually somewhat problematic. Let's see what we can get here. Swap bot, no. Alright, you're going to get a free attack on us. That's fine. Okay. I uh, can't do double gunner quite yet. We could do the sniper bot, though. We'll take one of those. And that's that. Oh, uh, yeah, take that guy out. Um, let's get one of those in the tank. Here we are. All right, goodbye, swap bot. Now, we got to think about this carefully with his swap bot, because once I deal him a damage, he's going to switch to five attack, right? No, swap it after is dealt damage. So if I do like three damage, it'll swap and then it'll hit for three. So what do I have that could deal out a decent amount of damage? Not much, huh? Well, uh, now that I think about it, I could just put my gunner down. He'll hit two to the left, two to the right. So that'll get me up to four, which means I only need to deal one more damage, but... Yeah. I think that's what I want to do, right? Okay. Alright, last one. What does this do? When a creature moves into the space opposing a card bearing the sigil, they are dealt one damage. Okay. Possibly. I need to get this guy to, to switch his form. So I think I'll put him there. Because I'm going to attack. He's going to switch his forms. He's going to attack me with, with four power. Because that's going to move over here. But my revenge damage should kill him. I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to work. Yes. Precisely. Oh, another swap bot, huh? I just need one more point of uh, of damage to, to pull this off. But I am running short on cards. Alright, I'll put him there to block. Yep. Uh, maybe... Is it worth it throwing a shield bot down here? Is that... That's the last card with any kind of offense that I have. Oh, I'm out of energy anyway. Oh, right. I just needed one more to win. So, duh. You made it to the first waypoint. Cool. That is cool. Your items are recharged. Bots that you've destroyed in the area will stay that way. Bots that I've destroyed in the area... If and when you do perish, you'll be brought back here. Oh, cool. So it's like just a little bit of a, a respawn system. It's an elegant system. And then this is where we could talk to the trader. Oh no, it was just free money. Free money that was lying around. Oh wow, Central Botopia. So this is an, this is 
very similar in layout to what we were uh, experiencing in the other, uh, the the like uh, eight bit area. Because this was be like the the mycologist's island. That's the hand for Grimora. That's the wizard spot. This is the you know Leshy's cabin. So on and so forth. Very interesting. Okay, let's take a little bit of a pause. That's a lot to take in for one episode. <laughs> a massive shift in tone, uh, but a lot of fun too. Like it's it's neat to be able to, you know, this game is always keeping it interesting, always throwing in some kind of new mechanic or um, something that you have to adapt to, which I really appreciate. It, it keeps it fun. So thanks so much for watching and let's continue exploring Botopia in the next episode.